Hi everyone. Today I'm going to go through the bottom five of my top ten nail polishes by brand. Um, I tried to film this doing all ten and it just was too long and I don't know. Maybe I like went off on tangents. I don't know. I'm good at that. <laughs> okay, so I think you all know that I've been working all summer pretty much comparing nail polishes by brand. I've actually compared 28 nail polishes. I did not include any um, Barium Catrice polishes that are not available in the U.S. So these are all strictly U.S. polishes. I by no means covered every single brand. I just couldn't do that, but I tried my best to get as many brands as I could into this study. Um, I had five items of criteria that I used, and these were things that were important to me in a nail polish. Number one, and these, this is not in order on the criteria, but I used brush slash bottle. That's important to me, the brush, the bottle shape, um, wear, which I know for me that's kind of funny because I really don't wear my polish for very long, but while I was doing this comparison, I would go four to five days wearing a polish. I went normally about four days, and then like five days was probably the longest I went. And I did have like tip wear, and I did have chipping after only four days. Um, formula, dry time, and price were the other. So those were the brush slash bottle, Wear, formula, dry time, and price. Those were the five criteria. When I got all finished and with my scoring system, went back through to, um, you know, see which ones were had done the best. There were three polishes that had five out of the five stars. So three out of the 28 were like the top three. And I think you're going to be surprised of which ones those are. And I also think you're going to be surprised about which ones are not on the list. Didn't make the cut. Okay, so let's get started. Number 10 on my list is Deborah Lipman. And this is, I have it on today, it's called Modern Love. I did not own any Deborah Lipman. I went to Nordstrom, I bought this specifically so I could include it in this comparison study. Um... I love Deborah Lipman nail polish. I right after I bought this, a friend of mine sent me this one, which is Private Dancer, and another friend sent me my Old Flame. Um, and also the friend that sent me this one sent me Naked, and my daughter took Naked. She really liked that, so she has that one right now. So I have four Deborah Lipman polishes. This one has got like a shimmer in it. The rest are cream, which cream is my favorite polish. Um, so I had four Deborah Lippmann to like, you know, to use and really get a good comparison. And it did make, it. the only star it did not get was for price. I love the bottle. I love the brush, the wear, the formula, dry time. All of that is great. The only star it did not get was for price. Um, number nine on my list is Butter London. And again, it got four out of five stars, and the only star it didn't get was price. And that, but you know, that's kind of misleading because if you go to the Butter London website or like Nordstrom to buy it, it's $14 a bottle. Um, and it's 0.4 ounces. That works out to $35 an ounce. And that's how I use the price determination. I broke it down to a per ounce price. So this one came in at $35 an ounce. But you can get Butter London on sale. They have crazy sales for these. I just got this week three Butter London, a Butter London top coat, and it was $11. And it was like a flash sale that was on Twitter. And that's all I was charged on my uh, debit card was $11. So I got three polishes plus a top coat. So that's like, 
it's like under four dollars a bottle so it's like what 325 a bottle so uh, you can get some really good deals on better london so it's kind of misleading but it is number nine on my list and this one is called queen vic it's the, one of the new polishes for fall you know fall is all about the nudes which is the deborah lipman i have on and then it's about these deep maroon, the dark, like, gym colors. Anyway, so Better London was number nine on my list. Um, okay, I don't know what this number eight one is. Let me see. Oh, number eight is OPI. I'm sorry. OPI. And OPI scored well. Let me see what it got. It got four stars out of five. I don't know what I didn't give it a price. I think it, I think it got a, I think it was price. OPIs are like ten, right at ten dollars, nine fifty, nine to ten dollars. Um, so that's what I th I should have. For some reason, I don't have it on here what the four stars were, but I think it was price. Um, because they are in my area anyway. Nine fifty is about the cheapest that I can find, and that's. But then I will find them on sale. Sometimes they'll have like a at the J.C. Penney salon in my J.C. Penney store, they will have a buy one get one half off, and that's about that's about as good of a sale as I found on OPI. But yeah, OPI was number eight on my list. Okay, number seven on my list was a this little cheap Wet and Wild Wild Shine, and these are ninety nine cents. This one, and I like the brush, I like the bottle, the wear time was great. Like there was, after four days, there was absolutely no sign of wear. What this one was marked down for was formula. There are, I've got several of these, and this is kind of a formula that you don't know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's really goopy, sometimes it's really runny. Some of the colors pool into your, like the sides of your nails. So formula is what this one was marked down on. So that one was 10, 9, 8, and this was number 7 on my list. And number 6 on my list is Zoya. And again, Zoya is $8. Um, and oh my gosh, just look at, this is my favorite Zoya. By far, it's called Lotus, and it's that purple with the copper shimmer. I love this polish. When I wear this polish, and like I'm driving and the sun hits those copper shimmers, like really, it's all I could do to keep my eyes on the road. I just want to stare at how gorgeous my nails look. I just love this. And Zoya is consistent. In their formula, their brush, their bottle, it's a half ounce. These are $8, but again, you can get some crazy deals on Zoya. I've gotten like, and I did a blog post about it, and I showed a picture. I think I got like 10, 12 bottles of Zoya for like $24 or something, some crazy thing, and that included shipping. But what I do and what you need to do with Zoya you go to their website, create an account. They will put points into your account right away, and you'll have enough points to get a free bottle of polish. But then you have to pay the shipping, so by the time you do that, it's like you paid for the polish. But if you sign up for their newsletters, they will send you notice that they're having a sale and like a free, if they do a sale or a promotion that has free shipping, anything you order, during that promotion time will have free shipping and I don't know if you I usually order whatever their their promotion is because their promotions are really good so I don't know if but you know anything else you order in addition you also get free shipping so I wait till they have those kind of promotions to buy Zoya 
But if you just went to the website to buy it or went into Ulta, I seen it in Ulta, it's $8. So that's why it was number six on my list. Okay, that's the bottom five of my top ten nail polishes by brand. Um, and in the next couple of days, I'll get the, um, did I say top five? That's the bottom five. And you guys, I'm sorry, I had my Glossy Box video up. And somebody pointed out that I called it Birch Box. But you have to remember, I'm old. My brain is old. I'm just like, I call it menopause mush brain because that's what it is it's just like you know one day I went in to go put on a pair of shoes and I sat on the edge of my bed for like 20 minutes and then I'm thinking what am I like what did I come in here for oh yeah I was gonna put on a pair of shoes you know I, I those kind of things just I think you know those of you that haven't been through it yet you will. You'll be. You'll go through it. Just wait. But a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so if I misspoke, it's the bottom five of my top ten nail polish by brand. Okay, and I will get the top five out in the next day or so. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.